Rockstar Gaming Channel. Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be going over the update in Green Bay. They keep on adding updates and we just keep on covering that. So hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. So we're at the dealership. We got a lot of stuff. So we're first going to explore the cars first and then we will uh, get on to the other stuff. Let's get started. Alright, so I hope this music is not copyrighted. We'll get into this later. But first starting off, we have the 1990 Mazaku Laguna. Uh, nothing has changed for this car. Um, but yeah, we're not going to cover it since they didn't change anything about it. So, and here we go. So, guys could see the convertible. I'll get into this thing later, but we'll find out the new cars as you guys could see. Roadster, you know, it's like that. All these cars, not new, nothing special. But here, we got something new. So this is the new uh, Dodge Charger. So we're actually gonna pick the cheapest option here. Here it is, we got a Tesla. What are you doing? To oh! Bruh. <laughs> but yeah. So let's go ahead and turn the headwood to. Oh, this. Oi, what is this guy doing? Anyway, this is the new uh, 2008 Dodge Charger. Actually, it looks very nice. I, this is my favorite version of the Charger. Very nice car. Um, it, on first acceleration, it uh, doesn't feel that good. But there's something that could change that anyway uh let's go back here there's so much stuff i should basically just cover oh that guy has like the, literally the same car but anyway I, there's so much updates that it's not it's so hard for me to not show them but yeah so let's just come over here here we go That's a prop guy. I thought that was a. Uh, never mind. Also, uh, let's you know whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's so much updates. Anyway, uh, next car. <laughs> so we got the 2009 Suki Triro. Tri Interesting name. Suki is actually from Fast and Furious. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Eight thousand. That's a really weird, you know, price tag. Eight thousand seven hundred three. Why can't they just say eight thousand seven hundred? But anyway, let's go ahead and spawn this car. It's a eh, good car, to be honest. You know, not the best though. Alright, well, let's go ahead and return this back to the dealership. The really thing I don't like about it is the front end design. I don't like it, but, uh, yeah, some people will. Just my opinion. I'm I'm so surprised that this thing has, um, dual exhaust. <laughs> Alright, next up, we have the 2012 Falcon Fission. And you know, if it's a, uh, Falcon, uh, Fusion here, um, we're going to get a sport. All right, here it is. Oh, that old. Oh, this thing has. Oh, right, whoa. Gee. Someone has a Jetta. Gee. Push a uh, sporty and drive. I mean, sport mode. This thing is so advanced for this time. It has like automatic braking, which is so cool. And automatic headlights. We'll get into this stuff later. <laughs> but anyway, I'm flooring it right now. And yeah, I don't want to show that one. I don't want to show that. All right, anyway, uh, next guy. All right, next up we have the 2013 Bullhorn Determinator. That's how you pronounce it. Um, it's a Dodge Challenger, nothing special here. It's a lot of money on that, but uh, yeah. All right, so here it is. It's just... Ah. 
thing feels pretty nice to be honest. Very sporty. Fishing sport now. Driving, that's the best to be honest. It's quite exhaust. I don't really like the back end of it. I like the front end. It looks very, uh, very stylish. Automatic headlights turned them off for some reason. I can barely see. I can kind of see, but like I, I would usually keep my headlights on. But whatever. It's it's green, but they they do everything they want anyway. Uh, oh, what? Where is that Chevy Tahoe coming from? Anyway, uh, next guy. Alright, next up we have the 2013 Wolfsburg Tornado. And Tech GT. Let's get the base on. Alright, what's this then? Alright, here it is. Oh, what's the back design? It's a golf, I think. What's very nice. What is this thing doing? Thing, grandma, I can not think. It's a Not a fan of the sound it makes, but definitely a little good uh, coupe if you want it. This thing has dual exhaust if you guys are interested about that. So yeah, it's pretty good cut to be honest. Ah, all right, next guy. All right, next year, 2014 Velfire Capital. In real life, I. Uh, my parents do have this car, which is kind of cool. Well, it's not 2014 model, it's a 2019 model. But yeah, I want to see, do they have like a... Only XLE or whatever, right, whatever. I'm going to get in this car. Alright, let's see this thing. Google always has huge updates. They don't do like little updates. They like have huge updates. Kind of weird. So it was pretty normal to drive, to be honest. I never driven one. Because I'm nine years old, I I can't drive. <laughs> but while I sit in one, I I I know what the sound is like. Doesn't sound too realistic, to be honest. Definitely uh, drives like my parents say it drives. So yeah, pretty nice. Uh, seven seater car if you're looking into one. Well, yeah, next, all right, next up we have the 2015 Belco 66. Uh, it does have the top on as, uh, yeah. But also, um, it, it's not really special to be honest. I haven't been updated, just got that roof because the converted. But anyway, a 2015 Chevron current here. And yeah, let's just this thing out. Alright guys, here it is, and we got a school bus next to me. Oh, great. Uh, the thing is, I'm not really liking, um, oh, uh, CVT. I really don't like CVTs in real life as well as in Roblox games. I mean, it's pretty fast to be honest, I have to admit. Because it's only, like, got it up to 99 miles an hour. I don't like CBTs. I don't like the back design either. I don't like CBTs. I, I just don't like them. Um, I like automatic transmissions. Yeah, 99 miles per hour is the max. I would like to have seen it. Uh, <clears throat> I would like to have seen it. Uh... Go up to 100 miles an hour, because just 99 miles an hour, no car in real life, uh, IRL could go that slow, that's just too slow. Some some roads even, even require speed limits like 100, how are you going to get around like that? Alright, next up we do have the 2017 Wolfsburg Tornado, be nice. 36,500, let's test it out. Jeez, that swag wagon is fast. So is this guy. This thing is so fast in sport mode. He's probably throwing that in sport mode as well. Just like that, 155 is the max. Pretty good to be honest. Um, uh, not my favorite design. Um, I would actually prefer this over the uh, base one, which. Uh, it's kind of cool. But I make you this one. I don't know. I think it looks cool. just not my type though. 
Got a Nissan Rogue here. Hello, Nissan Rogue. Oh, that guy just hit me. All right, anyway, next guy. All right, next car we have the uh, 2019 Bronson Kikata. I don't know. But this is a convertible Buick made. So only 20,000 for a sport. All right, let's go. All right, guys, here we are. We got the top down wheel room. It's actually a, oh, we got the steering wheel moving. That's actually pretty cool. But yeah, look at this interior. And just put it straight. Okay. Oh, you could also your hand on the steering wheel. They're pretty nice. Anyway, here it is. It's very nice. Uh, let me actually. Uh, uh, but as you guys could see, it's very nice here. You gotta turn the headlights first. Yeah, as you guys could see, it's screen very detailed, very nice. That's oh, the steering wheel totes, uh, very nice. But anyway, it's just, it feels very nice to drive a convertible, to be honest. Really cool, it's cool how the wheel turns. That's, that's just so cool. I feel like they put a lot of effort into this vehicle. Not sure about keeping it though. I don't really like the back design, but who knows, maybe I will, I don't know. Maybe if I like, maybe if I start to get used to it, I'll like it, but for now, I'm not. But here's what it looks like with the top up. As you guys can see, pretty cool. I converted with the top down though. Let's go, baby. All right, next guy. All right, guys, we got the 2020 BKM Regan. Nothing has changed by this guy. Uh, next one, we got the 2020 BKM Zoom. Uh, it's the BMW Z4, I think. I I don't know. I uh, I think I'll get uh, this one. I right, we go, everyone. Let's hop in. That top down. Yep, it moves. Oh, that is such a realistic interior, though. It sounds so much like a BMW uh, 3 Series. This thing's fast, too. I spent $75,000 on this vehicle. Better be fast. But, yeah, let's check out the interior here. I'm just going to mm, go over, like, right over here. But, yeah, so... It is, looks pretty cool. Got a navigation. Navigation swipe for info. Hmm. I don't even knew that. I have no clue. Here, uh, so if we turn this steering wheel all the way. So it's, oh, why is the screen turn off? Why is it turning off the screen? All right. What does that thing say? I have no clue. All right, anyway, so that's how far they got this thing. Well, it just looks so cool. They modernized it, it looks very nice. Uh, you got the steering wheel here. Everything feels so realistic, you know, you're driving this. Uh, with the top uh, down, but uh, yeah, here it is. How do you guys like it? I think it looks very cool. Not a fan of the front design though. Bruh, go around. Go around, bruh. Go around. I want to see, actually. Oh, well, that happens. It turns on his um, eye. Anyway, looks very nice. I'm not a fan of the uh, front design, though. I love the back design, though. This thing is very fast in sport mode. I don't know about keeping this. <sighs> well, I think I will. And next up, we have the 2020 Sir Rogers Sunlight. I cannot afford this. I'm sorry. But, yeah. Anyways, we have the 2020 Sumo Aside. This is the Super Ascent. I think I'm getting the, uh, hmm, Touring. Yeah. Nah. I don't want to get in that color. It just looks weird. I, I'll get in this color. Let's test it out. All right, here it is, everyone. 
not the best thing out there, but it's innocent. It carries people around a day, which I think is uh, very nice, to be honest. And yeah, here it is. I'm surprised the SUV has exposed exhaust outlets. Literally, like, yeah, SUVs do. I think that's for, like, a sportier appearance. But anyway, uh, next car. All right. A 2020 Valfire Parima. Nothing uh, special about these, except that they did add um, uh, different trims. We'll go ahead and get it in this color. All right, guys, here it is. Thing that really impresses me is, wait, is my volume raised all the way up? I'm gonna raise my volume. guys heard that that is actually the new toyota chime it is on a hold off to hear that that is absolutely insane i'm so glad they have brought it to the camera I, it, it just really impresses me this thing drives pretty well, to be honest. The SE, that's my favorite trim in the Kimi. Most exciting thing about it is, of course, the startup trim. It's just, oh, I, I love that green. We'll put it in there. But anyway, um, next guy. All right, guys, next up we have the 2020 One Bull Horn Denominator. I'm not going to test this. I already... I'll uh, test out the other one. I'm not really going to test this. I had 2021 Bullhorn Prancer. Uh, still, uh, you got the wide body here, which I think is very, very, very nice. But yeah, I'm not going to test it, to be honest. Uh, we're basically running out of time. It is a very long video. Anyway, we got the uh, Kia Sorento here, the new one. Um, hmm, wonder. Uh, I like this one. All right, well, we're going to uh, test this one out. All right, guys, here it is. Let's try to get in here. So I love the uh, design of this. Very nice. Acceleration. Uh, not that good. I uh, love the uh, kid license plate. Very nice. But, yeah, I love oh, LED day to red. It, like, turns off so that... Uh, you could not blind people when you're turning. Anyway, uh, you're not going to have an exposed exhaust outlet, outlet to be expected. But yeah, automatic headlights just turned on, which is very, very nice. But yeah, next car. All right, next up we have the 2021 Stuka Lands Craft Mercedes G Wagon. This looks very, very nice. I like it. Hmm. I'm just wondering, what, which one should I get? I think I'll get this one. Hmm, what color? I think I like that one. Yeah, that one. South Sea Blue Metallic. All right, let's test this thing out. Guys, here it is. The update started turning very nice. This thing still shift around. Nope, it's very tight now. This thing also sh shoots fire out of its exhaust. I saw it. Let me put this thing into manual. Yeah, it doesn't do it in neutral. Oh yeah, that's the new thing. But yeah, it does shift fire, which is very nice. I, I love uh, G-Wagon from the very start and I will always love them. This thing hits a top speed of 150 miles per hour. This big gigantic truck, ow. But yeah, I am, ow, I am keeping this car just so you guys know. Oh, yeah. I am keeping this car. Uh, it's a very nice and premium car. $167,000. I'm not trying to brag or anything. That's a lot of money for a car. And for what I think, it's pretty good money, to be honest. You got quad exhaust both on each side, which is very nice. Now, it's going to be hard to open on the tail gate, but just look at the design. Boxy, G-Wagon, just 
a very very nice design so yeah guys uh yeah <laughs> next guy all right next up we have the 2021 takeo turismo this is the new acura tlx which is uh, very nice i might get the a type to be honest and then this guy i guess all right let's test it out all right so here it is yeah i think it looks very nice to be honest i don't like the back design though with the sound it's a very nice sound I wonder if this thing can shoot fire. Wait. Nope. I can't. This thing is pretty good to be honest. I like the front design. I also like the wheels. But the back design, not too big on them. That's your choice to decide on what your car. Please don't take it from me. But yeah, next guy. All right, next up we have the 2021 Tuscany Ephora. I don't know what this uh, car is in real life. Either it's an Elantra or um, a Sonata. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to get the SEL. Lava orange wall. All right, let's test this thing out. This thing is pretty normal, you know, just a Sonata or Elantra. I have no clue. But yeah, uh, next guy. Alright, next car we have the 2021 Valfire Prima. Uh, same car, nothing special to be honest. It's just 2021 model. I'm not going to test that. Just save money, of course. But next up we have the 2021 Viking Stock Home. Uh, it is the XC90, which everyone's been begging for them to add. I'm going to get the eye design um, in those wheels. I think it looks very nice. It's a big SUV, so yeah, let's just test it out. Alright guys, here's the XC90, a very big SUV. Here we go, it's a very big, not my type SUV, the wheels are so large, like, jeez. But it does look nice for people who want it absolutely need it <laughs> but yeah <laughs> next guy all right next up we have 2021 uh circle convertible nothing uh new about this just it's been transformed into a convertible but the 2022 falcon rampage uh it's the new falcon um this look very nice to be honest but personally um you know what let's test this out all right guys here it is it, it doesn't look uh that different than the outgoing model but it is for bronco like a jeep of course or someone got the high window um pretty nice card to be honest this rampage is supposed to say bronco but anyway um it's pretty cool uh car very nice all right next guy all right next up we have the 2022 western motors protogen x is like a wagon from game world's freight company uh western motors uh, it's it's an electric car pretty nice to be honest i'm actually uh got the cheaper one this all right what's this at? all right here it is guys Oh, they actually encrypted, um, they actually encrypted, uh, automatic braking into this car, but, jeez, this car is fast, uh, because it's so electric. I, I don't really like, uh, Western Motors, I don't stand for their brand. I like the white bar, though, it looks sick, but, yeah, I like the design, I just, you know, I'm not really a fan of the brand. All right, next up we have the 2022 Wolfsburg Albuquerque. I have no clue what this car is. Yeah, 32,000, pretty nice. Here it is, hey. Here it is, uh, quick, nice, um, ah. Quick, nice family SUV, to be honest. I like the design of it, not gonna keep it. I don't really need one, but yeah. Uh, maybe I'll reconsider, you know, never know when you're gonna need a big suv but yeah i already have my g-wagon i'm perfectly fine but yeah 
right, so I got the Z4 out, and um, they revamped the uh, Toys for Trucks building. They now call it Truck Planet. So let's drive there real quick. Why am I seeing so much Teslas? This thing's too fast. Oi, what is Super doing? What is this Tesla doing? Uh, I'm just gonna turn here. got a car here i'm pretty sure it's a crap car anyway uh, let's close up the roof here and yeah so it's called truck planet they got a new logo it looks totally different than toys for trucks but here we got we got like these things we are uh, police signs and police lights got car stairs like you could get just by got car stairs again uh, we have these things we got another person here uh, we got a uh, sticker logo state patrol holy flag sheriffs like that suki uh greenville rescue uh wisconsin vote fire all the flags basically but yeah so here we got like a truck bed um here we got truck beds again uh, we got some more flags here Got the cash shed stairs here. We got our logos. We got some tires right over here for your car, which is nice. We got uh, flags right over here. Um, we got these things. I don't know what they are, but uh, yeah. Um, here we got some more of those things. Oh, no, I don't want to go to the restroom. So here we also have a office here. Some pictures of like a cyber truck, uh, got Mercedes, very nice, got restroom here. <laughs> and here we actually have the uh, garage with those uh, 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 fan and stuff, so like a service here. So actually, I'm gonna actually uh, get my car here so we could see how it is. It. I'm not gonna take off the roof yet, but. Uh, yeah so here we go it's pretty cool to be honest i love it. it's like really open so you could do a bunch of role plays in here for example like car fixing stuff like that so this is pretty cool to be honest you could see some trucks maybe like do a game um we'll play in here like a baseball game or something i don't know but actually um, we'll get to this later. You guys can see the interior from the inside. It's pretty cool. Anyway, <laughs> and they also added two more prop buildings, which I think are these here. wonder what these are, but it's right next to the toys. Now, I, I have to stop calling it toys for trucks. It's the truck place. Got another fake building there. And we got another one right here. The total to a uh, new pop -ons. That one is actually attached to that one. All right, we're in our G-Wagon. We're heading to the DMV. Ah, but yeah, I feel like a big person driving this thing. I'm surprised it only has like a one piece on it. So not like a, whoa, that guy did not see me coming. Got a lot of stuff else. But yeah, I'll just head here. Let's do this thing in sport mode. Got the DMV here. The one that was in the last update. Oops. This. I don't even know where to park in the first place. Here we go. Spot right there. Alright, so let's check out the plates. Plates renewal here. Hmm. What they add a Canadian plates? Oh, there they are. <laughs> so instead of just the United States, we got Canadian plates. It's actually pretty cool. So you got Ontario, US Discover. It kind of like you back. It's pretty cool. Beautiful British Columbia. Yep. It's 
is why um i'm not really gonna get, get any of these to be honest um you know what i'm gonna get beautiful british columbia uh wait did they update anything on that no they didn't so beautiful british columbia i'm just gonna put um, bmw c4 and i don't know i like that design hmm Ontario, yeah, I got Ontario one, ten thousand dollars. Please, oh, oh, okay. Apparently, that is inappropriate. Uh, we'll just put the end up and cut it. Oh, that ah, uh, no, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, come on, man. Okay. I'm gonna just put my regular one miles per hour 187. I don't know. Well, that uh, that was a waste of money. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I I have my G wagon out. <laughs> no, I. Well, we at least got on Ontario one on there. But yeah, we got so many others, and it's starting to become nighttime. Alright, so you guys have probably seen it, but they added automatic headlights in this. So only IRL cars, that means in real life cars, have this. So the Mercedes G Wagon in real life has uh, automatic headlights. So that's why, you know, they got automatic headlights. As you guys could see, little headlights thing and then the auto. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. But we were supposed to head to the dealership, but well, I just forgot that. Let's go on. I really like this G wagon. Very nice. So let's continue on here. Come on, G wagon. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure this thing. Why is it going off? Okay, that's weird. Oh, we have to turn that on. Alright, why am I here? Turn my daytime running lights on. It's really weird. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, so uh, we got my friend here. That's pretty cool. Anyway, um, I'm gonna just scroll down to my car, I guess. I don't know. But we got uh my car here. So specs, we got the top speed, of course, 150 miles per hour, horsepower, 310 miles per gallon, 14.5 MPG, which is crazy. I have to take this to the gas station all the time. But you got, you guys see weight, 7,056 pounds, pretty heavy car. All we drive, I'm seeing five. Um, and when we go over to my other car here, became Zoom. Uh, let's just scroll over to my car here. Gonna take my mind. Which one do I have? All right, so I have this one. So specs: uh, 161 miles per hour, 270 horsepower. That's 26 mpg. Uh, to that, two, 2,506 pounds. Real drive, seeing two. So that's you know basically what it's for the specs. So you guys could see you know. Let's go on to a random vehicle here. Um, hmm. I don't know. Like, uh, mm, this car probably. So, as you guys could see, top speed 123 miles per hour, 140, uh, 31 MPG, a uh, seating 5. I actually want to see with an electric car. I'm going to just search up Celestial here. No, Celestial. There we go. So, if we see here. Oh, so if you were um, driving an all-wheel drive, not an electric car, it'll say range and three miles. So the one I would get, which will be the standard refresh, or it'll be the 4.2. So that's my taste. 4,589 miles. That's a lot. So um, that goes to show you. Uh, let me actually just see this. So. There's a roadster. We got the extra terrestrial here. I would, I would personally get uh, that color. It has like 335 miles per hour plus, which is absolutely insane. 150 horsepower, 700 miles, range day 600 pounds, stuff like that. So that's basically what that is. I also, as you guys might have heard, 
we do have a background music. So I'm just... It's not copyrighted or anything. But yeah, you guys could hear that. Let's just turn that down. So, yeah, go over here to settings, right? And you see a new option, it's called acceleration mode. So what it does is you see if I pull it, it provides like instantly and I just zoom in. But, ah, but um, if I do smooth, this is what's gonna happen. See how Cause look, I am gonna, so I'm basically gonna do like a, hmm. I'm gonna do like a launch control, right? No, that didn't help. So if I pull the accelerator right now, you see how it doesn't respawn that quickly as it's instant did? Oh, that, no. Because instant is just like that. Smooth is like, okay, let me take my time and then I go. So you guys could choose what you want. I prefer uh, instant because I just like it. So, yeah. All right, so everyone, next we have saving MPG. So what this means is if you just spawn your car again, right? like I did to mine, right? My G-Wagon. And I hop back in. Usually, it'll just jump back to full, right? But actually, they added an update that is like Southwest Florida that actually saves your gas mileage. You actually have to go to the gas station. Pretty cool, very realistic. But anyways, guys, this is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy this. If you guys did, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you're not on a brand new video. I'll see you later. Peace out.